All right, here's our 2006 F350 King Ranch. Uh, here we got a key fob. Looks like they made it out of a newer Ford key. Works properly. Unfortunately, there is no push to start. Got one factory key. Looks like a couple of replacements here. Not sure this gold one, uh, but we can maybe figure it out. Uh, this one does have no door locks on it. A little theft prevention we see it quite often. Over here we'll show that it locks. Unlock. Check the keypad. Keypad does it works as well. Right, we'll try one of these silver keys first to see if those work the ignition. Sure do. There we go, totally dash free, or dash lights are all clear. Got 226,000 miles. Looks like we got a little compass there on the odometer as well. Great oil pressure. Brights. out of fluid but top it off see if that that motor is good in there the sprayer motor some automatic pedals Those function properly these auxiliary switches they all like all the LEDs work so I'm assuming power goes through them I haven't noticed them hooked up to anything yet Okay, so the steering wheel buttons do not work the radio. Uh, we've had plenty that do it. It does work the AC controls, however. Temp and the blower speed. Go ahead and test that here as well. Downwards, upwards, got AC off, AC on, recirculation, defrost. You can hear it flip. Blows nice and strong up there. Take it to the floor. All right. Everything's working properly. Bring it back up. It's only 105 degrees here today. Turn the parking sensors off. Rear window. That's functioning.
do got a little broken cabinet up here. I'm not gonna mess with it. Center console's in great shape. I believe everything's inside as well. Yeah, we got the little removable coin pouch. Nothing too special, but it is in great shape. Feels like it's warming up, man. We'll see, we'll double check. Yeah, red hot. Cruise control. We'll test that on the test drive. tears in the seats they look really great now they could use like a good conditioning uh, both driver and passenger seats are heated all controls work the factory king ranch floor mats they're in great shape too Rear factory floor mats back here as well. More great leather. Missing a little reflector down here. Snap. I couldn't get it to turn on. The power button's disappeared. Um, if you think it's cool, you could replace it. I'm sure all, everything's already set up. Pretty cool. They got a little 110 down there. BMW hitch. is a little bowed. The snaps don't quite line up. switch
buttons are functional on the passenger side. Dash is in gray shape. Nice and clean, all the panels match. Another missing reflector. Big heavy duty bumper. Got a worn winch on here. Uh, there is no, uh, there's no hook on this. Uh, so that would need to be added, and it did not come in with the, uh, the controller. Paint looks great. You get up close, you can notice the little imperfections. Uh, we do have some damage up here on the front. Maybe they have one of those liners that rubbed it, I'm not sure. But overall, paint looks pretty great. Fog lights are working. That one's a little dim, but... Super straight truck. Like I said, minor little imperfections. You know, we got some damage to the, the little uh, decal sticker here. That's all I'm seeing so far. The missed tab pieces are missing. Similar to the hood up there, we got a little spot right here. Uh, it just looks dull. It's just got this dull, like somebody maybe like paint. It looks like maybe they try to cover the scratch. It's like a duller paint, a little run. Sticker coming apart here. There we go. The tailgate does have a couple little dings in it. As you can see, it's a little wave. Another one of those little paint touch up spots. It's just this one's not near as dull. see that and right there got like another little dull spot this body line right here has uh, some little dents in it as you can see Door handles have some paint damage. Say like somebody tried to break in. A little dull paint down here as well. Nice little ding here. A 
vent there at the bottom of the driver door. We'll get up there on the roof. Got some sun damage up here. But rust free. Bottom of the door. Not even a spat. Perfect. Looks like we got some fresh suspension components up here. Tires are in great shape. Some mud terrains. over here the LEDs on the the cab don't work unless they're hooked to one of those auxiliary switches I couldn't tell you I haven't played with it enough got some uh, chrome damage here on this grill kind of got some wrinkles here it's kind of separating saw there
something off this truck. As you can see, you know, they're a lot cleaner than the rest of the motor. Uh, we got some marked upgraded bolts in there too. Rotors look great. Looks like they're fairly new. Uh, but you can see the brake hardware here. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but uh, brake hardware looks really good, really new, so. Nice and free. Locked in. Well, let's go run through some gears. Windows don't hang up or anything like that. They're nice and smooth. There's just a little bit of play in the, the shifter. Everything's tight underneath. It does line up properly. That's full lock, no tire rub or anything like that. I will mention before we get further, uh, the steering wheel's got quite a bit of damage to it. Uh, so it was coming apart, they had taped it. Uh, but with the steering wheel cover, not the worst, not the worst case. Uh, there's left lock. Yeah, no rubbing whatsoever. slight little vacuum leak on the, the four-wheel drive. Uh, they're vacuum actuators. And you can kind of hear it go to defrost. You know that there's a little less vacuum getting to the, the AC controls. Pretty simple system. Uh, I'll definitely look at it before it's shipped. Like I said, there's a little play there. drive we're all good take it over to the highway get it up to about 75 or 80 our truck rides phenomenal they're usually much stiffer straight pipe sounds good super conservative truck doesn't it's not a rocket ship or anything Oh, I took a little bit and the AC's back to back to normal. Power steering's nice and smooth. Just the steering in general. Pipes are always great on 6.0s. They wrap out a little. I think they one of the better sounding trucks. Here in a bit, we'll get turned a little um, perpendicular with the sun. Should be able to see the gauge cluster a little better uh, right as we get on the highway. Truck drives nice and straight. Not a whole lot of play. 
definitely no play in the, the suspension or steering, uh, but from the wheel, like the pitman arm up through the steering box and everything like that, that's probably where that little bit of play is coming from. But you don't feel any bumps or anything in the wheel. What you hear, we'll go about 50% throttle uh, up to speed as long as we can. There's 80. Not a vibration or anything. Tires don't make a ton of noise. The truck drives great. Doesn't seem to pull. This road is a little slanted up here. It flattens out a bit. Majority of the 350s of this year, uh, well, I guess not this year, but this one is much, much smoother than most. Kick down here. As you can see, it's not a rocket ship. It's not turned up like crazy. Get behind this dump truck. Check out the four wheel or the cruise control. All right, that's locked in. Uh, we'll slow it down and speed it up. Works perfect. 